So today we are looking at the Melabe Linux. So here is the boot menu. So I tried to boot this Linux distro uh, almost like a four to five times in my VMware and the virtual box. So uh, the main problem was uh, it was like freezing on the black screen and uh, it didn't work properly. So in order in uh, in my case, uh, I need to go with the uh, Melabe Linux install uh, medium, which is the NVIDIA latest cards x64 option. So it's going to take a, a few seconds here and we should be getting the username and all those things. So in the VMware it took almost like a 10 minutes or maybe more than that to uh, load up the login screen. Uh, but in a virtual box it is taking a bit of lesser time. I don't know why it is but uh, I'm going to boot it in a virtual box with uh, without any hard disk and I'm using 8 GB of RAM and uh, the, the Video memory is 256 MB. So the file size of this uh, Melava Linux or Mi Linux is around 6.8 GB, the ISO file. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds to uh, get the login screen and I'm going to say how much of time it took in the virtual box. So here is the login screen. So in order to boot uh, this Linux distro, you need to choose the options the, uh, for latest uh, NVIDIA cards or whatever the default options. You need to figure it out on your own because it's uh, different uh, for different PC because I think there is uh, some bug in the uh, booting process because you end up with a black screen without uh, uh, with the uh, mouse cursor and uh, the mouse cursor will be not be moving or you can't do anything. So in order to boot properly, you need to choose all the options on your own and uh, you need to try to boot this Linux distro if you want to test it. In my case, I choose the latest NVIDIA cards and we are getting the login screen. And in order to log in properly without any black screen or anything like that, you need to go with the session and choose the X11 session. Right now it's not uh, working again. Let me type in. 123 is the password for the live boot and the username is a live user 123 let me change the session which is a plasma valent to plasma x11 because uh, it didn't work uh, for me so i'm going to log in it's going to take a, a few minutes here so basically to boot up this linux distro you need to have a lot of patience because i don't know whether it's a bug or uh, i don't know what it is but it is taking a lot of time to uh, boot in even in the live boot so here is the wallpaper it's going to take a lot of time because i saw the desktop uh, loaded almost uh, maybe it took uh, 15 to 20 minutes in the vmware but i don't properly uh, tested in the virtual box so this is the first time uh, booting in the virtual box so the desktop environment you get is uh, kd plasma so again we need to wait for a few seconds here to load up everything let me minimize all those things so my cpu is i5-1240p and i have like a 8 gb of ram for my uh, virtual machine so there is uh, system requirements in their in their website i'm going to go through all those things you don't need to worry about that so here is the desktop it's still loading default browser is firefox so let's wait until everything is loaded so this is the latest version the file size is around 6.8 gb and the developer edition and uh, full developer editions is around like uh, 8 10 gb i'm going to show all those things uh, in a few minutes uh, let's wait to all these things loaded so let's change the display settings first so it is taking a few seconds here So it looks like very heavyweight uh, to use uh, this Linux distro because there is nothing smooth or anything uh, fast here. So it is taking a lot of time to load everything. So as you can see there is a heavy lag. I guess this Linux distro is from the Russia. There are a lot of videos uh, in our channel which were from the Russian Linux. So here is the information Melave Linux. KDE Plasma version 6.1.1, KDE Frameworks version 
and QT version is 6.7.2 kernel version you get the 6.9.7.2 catch us graphics platform x11 so here is the hardware I'm going to close this and uh, I'm going to open the system monitors to see how much of uh, resources it consumes the, so the application menu looks kind of Windows 11 thing so let's uh, see the system monitor so again there is a lot of lag and uh, it's not pretty much smooth while using this Linux distro let's open the system monitor I guess because of uh, there are a lot of applications installed I don't properly know but uh, let's see how much of system resources it's consuming so the RAM is pretty much a bit of uh, common but the CPU is almost 100% for some reason so that's the problem here the RAM is almost 2.5 GB of 8 GB of RAM which is quite uh, uh, usually which uh, where the GNOME desktop environment and KDE Plasma KDE Plasma will consume a less but in this case it's uh, consuming 2.5 GB and CPU is almost 100% it's not even less 98 and not like that it's completely 100% so that's the reason we are facing all this issue here are the applications here is the history as you can see there is stable graph of CPU of completely 100% but uh, there is a drop in the CPU graph and memory is almost uh, 2.5 GB so let's see what are all the processes running right now in the beginning I didn't open any of the applications or anything like that just the uh, display settings and some about info of the system so these are all the processes running right now lot of RAM lot of CPU so let's keep the system monitor in the right side corner throughout the video so you can see all the changes throughout the video so there is a heavy lag so if you want to try it you can try it on your own don't try to install this Linux distro uh, before testing always try uh, any unknown Linux distro in the live boot or in the virtual box or VMware so I already made a video on this Linux distro in the previous in my channel uh, if you want to check that out you can check that out let's open the Firefox web browser before that let's check what are the default applications you get from this uh, Melave Linux let's see what we get pre-installed so let's make it bigger so you can properly see so there are a bunch of applications added as you can see in front of you like a discord elisa elisa was from the kd plasmas so game so there is no uh, bluetooth apps just the basic apps inkscape and uh, like uh, maybe some of the applications library office but the cpu is touching almost 100 percent so these are all the applications you get from the melave linux so the telegram desktop they added like uh, maybe five to six applications other than that there is nothing uh, uh, new or any different from other kd plasma desktop environment or maybe the kd plasma desktop environment based uh, distros so cpu is not pretty much stable so that's the reason there is a heavy lag so let's see what it is welcome center let's uh, close this welcome center let's open the web browser the ram is almost 2.4 gb 100 percent of uh, cpu so let's wait and see how much of time it takes to load up the browser usually 15 to 20 seconds in my laptop but uh, let's see what is this uh, going to take almost same let's put the internet browser in the left side corner it is way laggy uh, even to make a video on this so let's try to make a video so again I am not going to recommend this Linux distro for you because it's too much laggy to even use it in a live boot so if you still want to try it try it in the uh, virtual box or virtual machine VMware so and uh, tell me your thoughts uh, is it working properly in your PC or uh, 
you need to see all the system requirements i'm going to show all those things so let me type in about support here about support and it is taking a lot of time i typed almost uh, three seconds ago but it is uh, still loading so let me click enter again here set corner so you can see properly and there is a lag again I don't think it's working or not so heavy lag again so for some reason we can't make anything move here I can't even move the system monitor there is a heavy lag even to use this Linux distro. So let's wait for a few seconds and see whether it works or maybe it will crash again. So nothing just uh, froze on the screen. CPU 100%, RAM is almost 2.8 GB. We didn't even make anything but uh, I hope we get any video here so I can't even do anything here so let me try to uh, use this Linux distro in the VMware I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to uh, start uh, in the VMware and I'm going to edit that part in the end of here I'm going to start that part from here uh, with the ending so let me close this uh, virtual box so here we back with the VMware so let's try it in the VMware and uh, boot it in the live boot again I'm choosing the plasma x11 again the password is 123 let's hope we don't have any issues this time again it's going to take a lot of time to load up so we need to wait for again 5 to 10 minutes and I'm going to start again from the beginning and so here we back again with the welcome screen so it do, it take like a 5 to 10 minutes to load up the even welcome screen so let's close it everything the version which is uh, melawi welcome screen is 0.10.1 let's uh, uncheck this launch at start let's close it let's open the system monitor let's uh, hope uh, everything is uh, everything will go good this time so again lag let's open system monitor first and uh, let's keep the system monitor in the right side corner so you can see all the changes so let's make it bigger so you can see properly CPU almost 50-60% uh, same as the virtual box but it's less uh, when compared to virtual box in the virtual box it took almost 100% in this case it's almost uh, again it's going to 80 percent let's wait and see the memory is almost 2 gb let's go to the applications here are the applications running here is the history cpu is very less in the uh, vmware uh, compared to virtual box but uh, there is same issue while uh, booting in both the virtual machines so when you want to try to uh, use this uh, linux distro you need to uh, try to figure it out how to boot this linux distro on your own because in my case it was like a latest graphics card in the boot menu and uh, x11 in the uh, login screen so you need to try it on your own if you want to test it but uh, if you ask me whether to use this linux distro or not uh, if you are a normal user I say I'm going to say it's a better option to stay away from this Linux distro because you don't want to stress out uh, for some random operating systems 
go with uh, well known linux distros instead of uh, torturing yourself of uh, trying to uh, test some linux distro because i don't have any other options uh, so that's the reason i need to test this type of linux distro but you have a lot of options to try it because uh, uh, you have good options uh, because you you need to uh, only install a single operating system for your device because uh, you don't make a youtube i make a youtube so that's the reason i need to try to uh, do every type of linux distro even it uh, it tortures me so it is torturing me from almost uh, i i booted up like a 10 times in all the virtual machines like a virtual box and vmware i chose all the options to uh, load up the desktop layout so finally i figured out uh, in this case vmware is uh, working properly it's uh, properly means it's not exactly uh, smooth it is taking a lot of cpu still it's not pretty much stable so let me open the web browser so as you can see cpu is again going uh, crazy so keep an eye on the cpu and ram throughout the video so you can uh, get an idea whether to use this linux distro or not but i'm going to if you want to try this linux distro do let me know in the comment section uh, it is still uh, having issues in your pc also so let's get to the firefox part so in the virtual box the firefox stopped and everything was frozen so usually uh, this linux distro will uh, freeze on the black screen and the mouse uh, mouse pointer will also stop working so you need to figure it out on your own whether uh, uh, which option is uh, suitable for you whether the nvidia latest graphics in the boot menu or the default options the firefox you get is 127.0.2 so let's type in about support to get some of the distro information. So here is about support. So again, it. ID Arch Linux version 127, Linux kernel 5.6.9.7.2. Sorry. So it is it tortured a lot of time, so that's the reason um, I lost I lost my patience there. So the RAM I already mentioned all those things in the virtual box part. Uh, I'm going to keep that part in the beginning, and I'm going to edit this part after where it froze. So these are all the uh, information from the browser you get. So you can just pause the video and read everything instead of uh, me talking about all those things and making a video lengthy. Usually my video will be 20 plus minutes so even after showing some of the basic features. So I'm trying to make it as uh, short as possible. So these are all the information from the browser. Let's go to the official website. So let me type in Milave Linux. let's hit enter so again it is taking a lot of time i'm using a vpn so that's the reason it shows uh, some random language i think this is uh, vietnam or thailand language i probably don't know i choose uh, some server in my vpn so let's this is the first link or the official link from this uh, linux distro which is melave linux arch linux based distributive so let's uh, try to open this linux distro so the cpu is again almost touching 100 percent but it's still usable in the vmware but in the virtual box it was pretty much hard to use so sometimes the vmware is working properly sometimes the virtual box was working properly i i almost booted like a maybe 10 times to uh, test every option so i think uh, this is the website so you can click on the download or you can go with the news can't even try to test so the downloads are here so let's wait and uh, see uh, to load everything here so it is taking a lot of time to even load so let's click on the download part everything is broken it seems let's see the original again nothing is working 
can't even move the browser so i think we are again stuck with this uh, let's go with the uh, source forge so the iso files are uh, uh, from uh, are available in the source forge even you go to the official website you need to go with the uh, source forge or force torrents in your in order to download this iso file so the live user is the username and the password is 123 so here is the files so let's scroll it down recommended system required eighty eight GB swap partition eight plus GB calibration possible and uh, internet for online installation everything was uh, properly done but uh, we had a lot of issues in the virtual box and the in the VMware also so the web website was also uh, stopped for some reason so here are some of the information let's go to the files as you can see again the screen froze i can't even click on files so i'm going to uh, try as possible uh, to make this video if uh, i have issues i'm going to end this video because you don't want to even suffer watching this video i don't want to even suffer to make a video on this so i'm going to end the video if we face any issues again so even just the browser is uh, taking a lot of time so let's try to open some other applications and get some basic information at least so again we have the iso files here so it is working sometimes and it is not working uh, sometimes so there is a lot of issues uh, still it's a base system i downloaded the milave linux base system which is around uh, 6.8 gb so I'm going to recommend it's better option to stay away from this Linux distro if you're a normal user. If you're a pro user or a distro upper, you can try it on your own and uh, do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this Linux distro. So again, I can't even choose other options. Let's try to, here is the console. So it took a lot of time to even open. So let me type in. So let it load properly first. Let's first check the version. Even the console is not working properly in this case or in this Linux distro. Can't even choose anything again. Help about console. Version 24.05.1. Let me type in. So it's still not loaded. Let's try to. Yeah, we got it. Let, let me type in INXI. So let's wait until it loads. Again, taking a lot of time. CPU is almost touching 100% just for the Firefox and just for the terminal or the con kernel console. So let me type in INXI small b. Hit enter. So I'm going to end this video after giving the some of the information from the console because it is taking a lot of time it's going to make almost uh, four to five hours to even complete the uh, basic features so I'm going to type in some commands and end the video and uh, my final thoughts will be don't better use this type of Linux distros uh, if you want to try it you can try it on your own and do let me know in the comment section it is so much uh, lag and it is taking a lot of time and you get a lot of black screens uh, when choosing the in the boot menu so if you want to try it you can try it on your own don't even try to install this uh, linux distro on your main pc or work pc try it in the virtual box or vmware or whether maybe live boot don't even try to install uh, before uh, uh, seeing or testing on your own so let me type in INXI dash capital F. So here are some of the information you can pause the video and read everything on your own. 
CPU, system, machine. We need some more information here, audio and all those things. Let me type in INXI dash capital G. Hit enter. And it's going to take a few seconds again. We need to wait for the, some of the information. Let me type in NeoFetch now. And we have the NeoFetch. Uptime 18 minutes. I didn't even show any, uh, I showed you anything, but it's almost 18 minutes because it is taking a lot of time to even open some basic things. Let me type in INXI SV8. Let's wait. So here is all the information of the distro. I'm going to scroll it up so you can see all the information. So you can just pause the video and read everything. Let me scroll it down. So you got all the distro information like a Bluetooth, network, drives, partitions and uh, graphics, uh, system, machine, all those information. So let me type in cat fallen slash etc fallen slash issue. So here is the Melave Linux. Let me type in head stop. So here is the head stop. Let me close. So let's click on this. So the file size is around 6.8 GB and the version is 2024-07-04. So let's get back and choose other uh, files also. Let me show you that also, which is uh, developer edition full. So the file size is around maybe 8 GB, I think. It's 8.5 GB. Let's go to the parent folder again and let me show you other edition, which is uh, developer edition. It's not a full edition, it's just a developer edition and let me show you the file size it's around 7.4 gb so here is some of the information of the Melave linux here is the summary so we got some of the information from the Melave linux so let's go back to the official website we hope uh, it is working right now so again it's broken it's not properly working let me close it so I already showed what are the applications you get uh, pre-installed in this uh, Linux distro. So right now it's working again properly. So there is a lot of lag while using this Linux distro. Date and time. So these are all the options you get in the taskbar. So it's again based on the KDE Plasma. So you get all the bit of uh, KDE Plasma applications here. Volume. Let's open the App Store or the Pemac. So CP went almost 100% again. The RAM is almost 2.1 GB. So it should take again uh, almost uh, 5 minutes, I guess. I'm going to rage quit if it uh, have any issues again because I'm done with the, all these issues already. I've been wasting my time almost like uh, five hours now. So these are all the applications you can download. So there are some of applications pre-installed uh, in the uh, in this Melave Linux already, which is a GIMP, Inkscape. So these are all the versions. I don't want to open any of the applications. But usually I make a stress test which is basically called to uh, test uh, and open all the applications at once uh, to see whether this uh, Linux distro will handle the stress test or the day-to-day -day task uh, for a normal user because a normal user opens like a random applications at once and uh, try to use this at once 
so that's the reason i open like a 15 to 20 applications and see whether the uh, linux distro will handle without any bugs or any crashes so that's the main objective of the stress test which i do in every linux distro or in every linux distro video because i post two videos daily i will be uh, making stress test in every video so i almost made 3000 videos you can watch all those videos if you want uh, you can choose whatever distro you want i almost covered 3000 videos almost from ancient ancient linux distros to latest uh, new linux distros so you can choose or you can uh, watch those videos so if you want to consider subscribing you can do that or else you can just uh, watch my video and check other channels i don't have any issue with that so let's check the about for mac 11.7.1-1 is the version install local packages preference you can refresh data or software mode you can choose you can customize according to your wish there i'm going to uh, test the stress test in this uh, linux test i want to uh, try it because usually uh, without opening any of the application it's way laggy to use this linux distro we need to see whether it will crash or maybe it just shows a screen and we have again issue let me type in the password which is 123 i guess yes it is you can customize all those things advanced third parties let's close it let me close the, the Mac. Let's see what are the wallpapers we get in the Melave Linux. We need to wait for a few more minutes here again. So it was quick. About. And the wallpapers we get are basically from the KD Plasma and maybe they should be added some wallpapers from the Melaville Linux I guess because the default uh, wallpaper is added it's not from the KD Plasma but I think they added maybe like a four wallpapers three or four wallpapers one two three four it's a four wallpapers added from the Melaville Linux so I'm going to open uh, like a random applications here one two three four five inkscape and gimp will be good i guess so i opened some applications to see whether this distro will handle the day-to-day uh, -day task so we have already uh, the screen is frozen already the mouse pointer is working but the welcome screen stop it's not an issue because we when we open the applications at once it's going to uh, have a little bit lag so, or maybe the uh, screen will froze but the in this case the from the beginning the linux distro is uh, having a lot of uh, free screen or maybe black screen without uh, you can't even more move the mouse cursor so let's make it back to the system monitor it went up to 3 GB and the CPU is almost 100%. Let's try to open some other applications like a game. So you get all the applications pre-installed here like a OBS. This distro will be good for the content creators because uh, there are a lot of uh, image editors, OBS studios and uh, maybe I think uh, a video editor maybe. You don't have video editor but uh, you get all the screen recorder image editing for a normal uh, user you can even use all the basic things here like a pemac please uh, discard you get all the applications pre-installed not almost everything just uh, basic uh, for the basic user you get all the applications so let me even try to open maybe audacity so there is also a voice recorder which is audacity so let's see what else we have here let's even open in the beginning it a 
edit our most what else we can uh, open here let's try the discord maybe we get all the basic or the uh, useful applications that's pretty good but there is a lot of lag and you need a lot of uh, system requirements for this uh, linux distro so you need 8 gb of ram and all those things so if you have like a, a low-end pc it's better option you just stay away with this linux distro don't even try to test it on the uh, virtual machine or virtual box if you have like a 2 gb or 3 gb 4 gb of ram so it's a better option to stay away from this linux distro because it's it, it's going to consume a lot of resources so it's a better option to stay away with this and uh, check other videos of uh, or maybe check other type of linux distros which suits you instead of uh, you getting frustrated for every uh, single applications or single error so it is uh, almost having a lot of issues from the beginning so let's try the try to switch applications so as you can see you can switch easily without any lag or anything i can switch any of the applications nothing lag while switching the applications you can go with the back or you can go with the front or maybe in the middle applications i can open everything instantly so add a Uh, everything is working uh, without any lag or any crashes so you need a lot of resources for this so if you have a low-end pc it's better option go with the lightweight linux distros or maybe the well-known linux distros instead of uh, unknown linux distro of this type of linux distros so the telegram desktop is here let's close it audacity let's check the system resources and uh, close all the applications and end the video so it took again a lot of lag here 3.6 gb cpu is not stable from the beginning so i'm not going to say anything about the cpu applications again a lot of time this is the applications history here is the graph of cpu and ram process so these are all the process running right now let's get back to the overview again a lot of time taking zoom version you get is 6.1.1 uh, let me close it audacity inkscape or the gimp let's first check the gimp version here is the version library office 24.2.4.1 Let's close the library office. It is the Inkscape. New document. Let's check the version. 1.3.2 2023 11 November. Let's close this. mac already shown this thing so again we are getting a lag file manager you can go to a file folder and check all these uh, folders available let's see about dolphin 24.0.5 so the discord version you get is uh, 59 let me close the discord browser i already shown you the version so let's go to the installer so you get both the installer which is offline and online let me first check the online version 
so in the offline you get the basic uh, calamaras installer type uh, uh, options like a language selection keyboard partitions uh, and the installation that's it but in the online you, uh, sometimes uh, you get the other desktop environments option so in this case let's wait and see what we get here so till now nothing is working of the installer we need to wait for a few more seconds i guess so some things are opening in the background so let's see and we have a lag because of the installer let me minimize this thing let's change the language so there is not enough drive because i am uh, using 60 gb of hard disk for my vmware so that's the reason so i'm going to show you the basic process of installation so we need to see what are the available things in the installer of online so you need to choose your language i think uh, it doesn't work so you get the welcome screen of uh, first you need to choose your language then location keyboard packages and uh, bootloader partitions user summary install finish so in the offline you should be getting welcome screen location keyboard and uh, partitions user summary install i think that's the thing available and uh, there is not enough space which is at least 150 or 150 gb so when you ask uh, whether to use this type of linux distros or windows 11 i would rather go with the windows 11 because it consumes a lot of resources almost uh, like a windows so it's better go with the known linux uh, known, uh, known operating system instead of uh, unknown linux distro so it's uh, almost i think it's from the russia i guess so we already made a lot of videos uh maybe from the russian linux distros so again this one is the i tried all those russian linux distros most of them was working properly but this one is almost uh, having a lot of issues while using so i'm going to end the video here because we almost uh, got all the information and i'm already tired of uh, using this linux distro because it took almost five hours to even make a basic thing because it lot it most of the time it for it tortured me in the boot options and in the user uh, login screens uh, it was almost like a black screen and uh, the mouse cursor wasn't moving so i choose the nvidia graphics card option and choose the plasma uh, edition and it was working properly so these are all the resources right now and applications history process and the end of the video so we're going to go with the logout screen and let's check the VLAN version. So basically when you check the VLAN version, it's going to uh, freeze this uh, on the black screen and you can't do anything. Let me show you that logout now. It's going to take a few minutes or a few seconds and I'm going to show you the uh, VLAN edition. So we should be getting the login screen now i guess so here is the login screen let's uh, let's see the plasma wayland let me type in one two three to password let's log in and it's going to freeze it uh, here let's uh, wait and see because i tried almost like a 10 times in the virtual box in the vmware both uh, cases it didn't uh, even load anything it just freezes on the black screen like this and the mouse cursor right now is not even moving i'm trying to move my mouse cursor but i can't even move so it's going to stop like this for hours and you can't even do anything so that's the reason i choose the nvidia graphics card option in the boot menu and choose the plasma uh, edition and it was working but even if choosing those options it there has a lot of issues so my final thoughts are it's better option uh, stay away uh, if you're a normal user just check other videos or maybe another linux distros instead of using this type of linux distro 
because it consumes a lot of resources and you need a lot of system uh, hardware or system requirements for this Linux distro. So it's better to stay away from this Linux distro. It's not a well-known or maybe a famous Linux distro. It's just an unknown Linux distro. I made a video uh, in the previous uh, in my channel. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out. So there is already a video on YouTube today, which is uh, Q4OS available in YouTube. You can check that out because I'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day. So if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe or else you can just watch my video and check other channels. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. Peace out.